Okay, right. Another subscriber battle against Charlie, aka Mr. Hobo. Now, uh, before we get into this, I know it's already playing, but I'd assume you can see it. If you can't, I do apologize. I will stop fucking around and get to the point soon enough. Now, the thing about Charlie is, what Charlie knows more than anything else in Pokemon is bulk. He, like, absolutely bombs it. No offense, Charlie, but you do. You do love your bulk. He has a Manetric with... Ma in fact, I think he used that Manetric in this battle. That has max HP. Let's face it, Manetric ain't living a hit for peanuts. But he, but he, he did it anyway, and it actually worked out. So, yeah, that's all I'd like to say. So, my main game plan here was... Chip away at his HP, small hits will be very important, and Stealth Rocks will be, like, God. Because he's going to be switching around a lot, blocking all my shit, trying to get in my face, and I just need to land small hits. It doesn't matter whether they're super effective or not, just chipping away at him very slowly. Anyway, getting into the action now, he's going to drag and tail my Blastoise out as I go into Bronzong. And this Bronzong, okay, was fucking crap. He did nothing. I've used Zongs in my teams for the past three major teams. And, well, I would say this one, eh, it ain't too bad, but it's more of a coverage guy. Just sitting there in the mix is a nice sort of bit of glue for me team. But he misses two hypnosis in a row, and he's going to switch out, and he's going to go into said Manectric, and I get Parahaxed. I can't remember if I went Hypnosis or Gyro Ball there, but it would have been nice. Anyway, I'm going to go into Heat More purely on the basis that Heat More is scarfed, so despite it being slow as piss, it's going to be about the best thing to take the uh, Electro Ball, which I knew it had. And now he's going to switch out and go into Latias to take the Fire Blast. Ha! Ah, that sounded like it rhymed. Anyway... Uh, I could have gone Hidden Power Ice there, after my strange tangent, but I, yeah, I don't know. Uh, uh, two more Electro Balls would have killed me, and I don't think two Hidden Power Ices would kill it, so whatever. And he has numerous things to wall me. Anyway, I go back into Bronzong, because it's probably my best bet to tank it. And now that I am paralyzed, I figured, sweet, I'm going to get crap ton of damage on shit. But I, I think I got Parahaxed on the Latias beforehand, and then he switches out to this Militic, and it just does nothing. But I do eventually land my Hypnosis, and fortunately, this Melotic was the worst thing to Hypnosis. Purely because, uh, this is a Rest, Sleep, Talk, Dragon Tail, uh, school set. And Charlie, it's very lame. I dislike it greatly. You, you, you were gonna use it, because it's like the bulkiest thing known to man, and I despise it so much, but, ugh. It, it, it was the bane of my existence, and his MVP by far. Anyway, I'm in Torterra now, just completely blanking out the last minute or so. And I set up Stealth Rock because he's going to go for a Yawn. And this Stoutland is beast. It is properly good. He uses it as a defensive wall. It is really bulky. And in comes Chatot, which is his signature poke. And um, he doesn't want to hang around for that. Who knew? And uh, he's going to switch out. As I switch out, he goes straight back into the Stoutland. And I go into Blastoise, which isn't too bad. I can just S-toss him and get a decent bit of damage, but he only, you know, has, uh, well, he has no recovery, so I can just S-toss him down a bit, I should be okay. But I'm going to go Scald because I wanted the residual damage, and I just burn the latty ass instead, which, lo and behold, has recover. Duh. Ugh, god damn it. The two biggest pro- well, the Latias was kind of a pain because Bronzong just wouldn't kill it because it just wanted to get hacks constantly. And um, Militic just wouldn't die. It just wouldn't die. I had a plan for killing it, but it didn't work. Anyway, I'm here now. I know a Gyro Ball will kill this thing. I've completely just rickrolled Latioses in the past. Get Parahaxed on the t bolt. I mean, at this point, I'm just going for a light screen. I'm just trying to get, you know, some, make it so I can live another hit. He's going to t bolt again. Uh, I go down to 48. I do land my light screen, though, but it ain't going to be enough. He is going to kill me with an XT bolt. So damn ye, Charlie. Damn ye and your haxy latty arse. Ugh. Haxy latty arse of bulky doom. Oh, I do live, but I get parahax again. Oh, I would have rather I just died. Ugh. I am going to die this turn, though, I think. Or oh, maybe. I assume so. There you go. Oh, he gets a crit. Okay. Brilliant, that light screen helped. Anyway, I'm not mad, it's just, yeah. Bit of a pain in the nuts, because the Latios should have died about 400 years ago. Anyway, I'm going to go into Agron, because I have a, I have Sturdy, and I will kill it regardless. 
And he's going to bring back in his uh, Stoutland. I just go for a Stone Edge, just hitting something. And it does nothing. That Stoutland, with the Intimidate, is so bulky. It's ridiculous. And my best bet is to take it as Blastoise, because, um, you know, it has two status moves. Seismic Toss is going to get pretty nice damage. Burn, can, or Scald can burn it, whatever. It'll be good. He's going to switch out and go into Militech, which won't die, and it's a complete slag. You are a slag, Militech. God, I hate you. Anyway, I'm going to keep trying... Well, my, I could keep trying to Seismic Toss it, but seriously, my best bet is to just roar it out. But the thing is, because of Sleep Talk and Dragon Tail, that's never a given. And that's what eventually screws me over. So he's going to school me here, which actually, yeah, that does exactly 100, which is far more than I figured it would do. Far more. But he's going to switch out, which is pretty much what I wanted it to do, actually. Which is nice. I'm just going to roar. Because that's my best shot, just residual damage. And then comes this uh, Stoutland again. And I could Giga Drain. I am a sort of defensive tank. And I'm going to hit things decently well. But, um, yeah, that is what I do. He goes Frustration, which doesn't do a lot. But, it's, yeah. I'm not really getting anywhere. I'm just, it, well, I am chipping away, which was my goal. But I am losing out a little bit. And he is going to go into his uh, thingy. Excavalier. That's it. I get a drain it, and I get a little bit of damage on it, but, it, well, he has lefties. <laughs> Everything on his team has, like, lefties. No, Charlie, why? Anyway, I'm going to go into Agron, because I have the Sneak Fire Punch, and I'm just going to roll him with it, which is so trolly. Take that, Scavalier. So Agron just sort of did its job. It's just a coverage poke. Send out first, hopefully hit something, maybe kill one guy and then die. And in comes the um, Manetric, and I'm going to go into Marowak, because I figured I'd be cool. But he's going to go switcheroo on me. So he, he now has a Fit Club, and um, I predicted switching to Latias, and I'm going to go Stone Edge. Which was good, because that Latias deserved to die so badly. And I get a crit, which was completely pointless. And he's going to bring back in the Manetric, and he knows he can live one, because of the bulk he invested. But does Marowak give a fuck? Does it really? No. I'm going to start it and get another crit. So, ha, ha, ha. I call that sufficient. Well, actually, the first crit didn't matter. It's halfway there to sufficient payback. Anyway, in comes the Stoutland. And I, um, I wanted to stick around, but it's kind of like, I don't think I'm going to do enough damage to it. And I can't afford it to get lefties gain. Because if it gets a lot of lefties gain, I'm boned. That's it. Anyway, I go into Blastoise thinking I'd be okay, and he's just going to start firing off frustrations, and he goes from def major, major defense with this Stoutland to complete offense. He just starts hitting me constantly, and the one thing I didn't want to happen is now happening. He's just hitting me a lot. I'm going to go Earthquake with my Specs Marowak, and if I had that Fit Club, if I had that Fit Club, and now our Marowak's going to go down, so I've negated the lefties, but I lost two pokes for it. That wasn't worth it. Now I'm going to go into Heat more. Because it's my best bet. It's all I have. You know? I'm just going to go Fire Blast. Hit the Militech. Not do enough. No way near enough. I, oh, I hate this Militech. I remember... I can't remember who I was playing. It might have been Crimto. Like, ages, like for the Christmas special. He used a Militech. And I literally had to sit there for 20 minutes as it just scored and draggled tail me around and rested. Because I couldn't kill it. It's physic Unless you have something that just hits like a train, you have nothing. It's horrible. And he wakes up, which is the worst thing in the world. He's going to score me, and I just... I need residual damage, but I can't get it because it has rest, and it has sleep talk. It has complete functionality. I would have to sit there and somehow stall out all of its sleep talks, which I can't do. Anyway, he's going to keep scoring me, and I guess I'm just going for a crit at this point. But I am just going to roar him out because he is at low health. But he can outspeed my aggron. Um, I need heat more to land a crit. That's about it. In comes the Stoutland, um, Stone Edge will do peanuts, and I can Giga Drain him, but that's about it. Well, I am going to switch out, going to Agron, 
because I just need damage, and frustration won't do anything to me, so brilliant. And if he T-waves me, he dies. Woo. And he is going to T-wave me, so uh, he should die, and he dies. So I go Stone Edge, and it kills him. Thank God, Agron doing its job, netting the kills I need. However, in comes the Militic, and that's game. He's going to rest, I can't do enough damage to him, and I'm not going to say he got luck of the draw with the sleep talks, but he definitely got the ones he needed, so whatever. I don't know. I, I, I have to admit, Charlie's style of play works, but I, don't know. I didn't get that hacked out. Bronzong just got completely humped by Parahax, but that's about it. Short of that, it wasn't that bad. And uh, he played around my team, and yeah, he didn't even get to use his chat art, though. He tries to. He tries. Yeah, he's going to switch out, and he's going to go into his chat out here, and um, I get a Giga Drain crit, which meant that um, I got just enough HP back to um, live a hyper voice, which really pissed him off, because I just killed it, so. I took something from this game. I killed an NU chat out. Hooray! Thank you. You know, at least I killed that. That's all that really counts at the end of the day. And then just Militic cleans up shop, so. There you go. Good game, Charlie. Uh, yeah. More subscriber battles coming. I know it well. I, I, I'll get around to them. I've got a couple of good ones coming up. So, yeah. It, it, this was a good one, though. I like his style of play. You should really use it against Smogon nubs more. I can't imagine how many of them are going to DC on him if he tries it. <laughs> Just sitting there, stalling him for days. Actually, that's the kind of thing they like. Charlie, go to OU and dominate it. You will win for days. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.